Hello friends and family and welcome to our boring meditation stuff for Saturday, October 17th. I'm going to do uh, a few of these about truth. I think that it's an interesting time <laughs> globally in terms of how people perceive truth and um, maybe the meaning of even the word truth. Um, which is a little self-referential, but um, the importance of this, the idea of there being truth that we can access and honesty, which we can uh, exhibit, has to do with meditation in the sense that um, it becomes surprisingly important for us to actually exhibit honesty inside the scope of our meditation. And it's much harder than it seems at first. Um, there are sort of layers upon layers of honesty that we need to accept and to engage with. Um, and honesty has a lot of subtle aspects. I mean, if we think about speech, the sorts of things we write a document or we say something to someone else, obviously there are um, all sorts of blatant lies. Then there are lies by omission. Then there are subtle lies. Maybe um, a statement is 98% true, but there are these thin threads of dishonesty within them. And um, this sort of reified, concrete kind of honesty uh, gives us an idea of what honesty looks like inside the scope of meditation, but honesty with inside uh, with inside, <laughs> within the scope of meditation, is honesty from ourselves to ourselves. And it's not the kind of honesty where we ask ourselves a question and give a reply. It's direct honesty. So we have to examine whatever our meditation object is and then be honest with ourselves about that very object be it the breath or the body. This is I mean, a small divergence here, but we, we can't be honest about something that we create. So if we imagine a meditation object, there's no honesty really required because there's nothing to be honest about. We've created this thing. But if we're trying to meditate on reality, if we're trying to meditate on something true, um, then truth matters and honesty therefore matters. Um, and this is kind of how these things are linked, but I might save that for tomorrow. Um, the importance here is that we learn to be honest with the meditation object. And we are finding smaller and smaller subdivisions in our honesty. Can we see the breath and pay attention to it and be honest about how it is. The breath might be very agitated. Um, the breath might be stopping <laughs> at times when we think it shouldn't be. Um, but whatever the breath is, it is. And we have to be honest with ourselves about that, that we're seeing it honestly and clearly. Um, it seems like a very simple thing to do, but uh, it's, it seems like perhaps not telling a bunch of lies is also a very simple thing to do, but it's actually more complicated and more nuanced than uh, we maybe think about it on the surface. Um, so tomorrow I'll expand on this and then we'll look at some uh, different external examples beyond that in future videos. I hope everyone's taking good care of themselves and taking good care of everyone around them. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.